Section 1. Hooked from the start. Why introductions matter. Ever find yourself skimming the first few paragraphs of an article, just trying to get to the good stuff? We've all been there. A weak introduction is like a lukewarm cup of coffee. It just doesn't grab your attention. But a captivating introduction? That's a shot of espresso. It wakes you up, draws you in, and leaves you wanting more. A strong introduction is crucial, not just for your entire piece, but for each section within it. Think of each section as its own mini-story. Each needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. And just like with any good story, you need to hook your reader from the very first line. How do you make sure your section introductions are as strong as your morning coffee? Let's dive in and explore the art of crafting compelling openers that will keep your readers engaged from start to finish. Section 2. Section Openers. Setting the Stage for Success. So, how do we actually write these captivating introductions for each section? It's a question that many writers grapple with, but the answer is more straightforward than you might think. It's simpler than you might think. Start by considering the purpose of the section. What is the main message you want to convey? What key point are you trying to make? What key point are you trying to make? Once you've identified the main takeaway, craft an opening sentence or two that clearly and concisely introduces that point. Once you've identified the main takeaway, craft an opening sentence or two that clearly and concisely introduces that point. This is your chance to hook your reader and set the tone for the rest of the section. You can do this by posing a thought-provoking question, presenting a surprising statistic, or even sharing a brief anecdote. These techniques not only grab attention, but also make your writing more relatable and engaging. For example, if you're writing a section about the benefits of daily exercise, you might begin with a question like, did you know that just 30 minutes of moderate exercise a day can significantly improve your mood and boost your energy levels? This immediately piques interest and sets the stage for the information to follow. By answering this question directly in the following paragraphs, you provide valuable information while seamlessly transitioning into the heart of your section. Remember, clarity is key. Your readers should never have to guess what you're trying to say. Keep your sentences short and to the point, ensuring that your readers can easily follow your train of thought. Avoid jargon and overly complex language. Simplicity often leads to better understanding. What are some other effective ways to open a section and immediately grab your reader's attention? Consider using a powerful quote that resonates with your topic, or perhaps a vivid description that paints a picture in the reader's mind. The goal is to make your introduction as engaging and informative as possible, setting the stage for a successful and compelling section. In summary, the key to writing captivating section openers lies in clarity, engagement, and relevance. By focusing on these elements, you can create introductions that not only draw readers in, but also provide a clear roadmap for the content that follows. So, take a moment to plan your section openers carefully and watch as your writing transforms into a powerful tool for communication. Remember, the beginning of each section is your opportunity to make a lasting impression. Make it count! Section 3. Asking the right questions sparking curiosity and engagement. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They serve as the bridge between the writer and the reader, creating a dynamic interaction that goes beyond mere words on a page. They can pique curiosity, encourage reflection, and even challenge preconceived notions. When a reader encounters a well-crafted question, it can ignite a spark of curiosity that drives them to explore further. However, not all questions are created equal. Some questions may fall flat, failing to engage the reader or provoke any meaningful thought. To truly engage your reader, you need to ask the right questions. These are questions that resonate with the reader's own experiences and interests, drawing them into the narrative. But what makes a question right? It's not just about relevance, it's about depth and the potential to open up new avenues of thought. A good question is relevant to the topic at hand, thought-provoking, and encourages the reader to actively participate in the conversation. It should challenge the reader to think critically and reflect on their own perspectives. Avoid questions with obvious yes or no answers. 
These types of questions often lead to dead ends in the conversation, providing little room for exploration. Instead, aim for open-ended questions that invite deeper thinking and exploration. Open-ended questions encourage readers to elaborate on their thoughts and provide more detailed responses. For instance, instead of asking, do you think social media has a positive impact on society? Try something like, in what ways has social media changed the way we interact with each other and the world around us? See the difference? The latter question opens up a broader discussion and invites multiple viewpoints. The second question prompts a more nuanced and engaging response. It encourages the reader to think about the various dimensions of social media's impact, rather than just a binary yes or no. After posing your question, take the time to thoroughly answer it, providing evidence and examples to support your claims. This not only strengthens your argument, but also shows the reader that you have thoughtfully considered the question. This demonstrates to your readers that you value their time and engagement. It shows that you are not just asking questions for the sake of it, but are genuinely interested in exploring the answers. What are some questions you've encountered in your own reading that have sparked your curiosity or challenged your thinking? Reflect on those moments and consider how they have influenced your understanding of the topic. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Engaging with others' questions and answers can further enrich your own perspective and contribute to a vibrant, thoughtful community. Section 4. Calls to Action and Surveys Inviting your readers to the party You've crafted compelling introductions, asked thought-provoking questions, and provided insightful answers. Your readers are hooked. Now what? How do you keep them engaged and make them feel like they are part of a larger conversation? It's time to take engagement to the next level by inviting your readers to actively participate in the conversation. This is where the magic happens, where your readers transition from passive consumers to active contributors. This is where calls to action and surveys come in. These tools are not just about gathering information, they are about creating a dialogue, a two-way street where your readers feel valued and heard. But how do you effectively incorporate these elements without disrupting the flow of your writing? The key is to integrate them seamlessly so they feel like a natural part of the narrative rather than an interruption. The key is to make them feel like a natural extension of the conversation. Think of them as gentle nudges that guide your readers to engage more deeply with the content. For example, after discussing the importance of setting realistic goals, you might include a call to action like this. Ready to start setting your own achievable goals? This not only reinforces the topic but also encourages immediate action. Download our free goal setting worksheet to get started. This provides a tangible resource that your readers can use, making the content more practical and actionable. Surveys are another fantastic way to gather valuable insights from your readers and make them feel heard. They can provide you with feedback that can shape future content and make your readers feel like they are contributing to the community. Keep your surveys short, sweet, and focused on a specific topic. This ensures that your readers are more likely to complete them and provide thoughtful responses. For instance, after exploring the benefits of different writing techniques, you could ask your readers, which writing tip resonated with you the most? This not only engages them but also provides you with valuable feedback on what content is most effective. Provide a few options for them to choose from or invite them to share their own thoughts in the comments. This opens up the floor for a broader discussion and allows for diverse perspectives to be shared. By incorporating calls to action and surveys strategically throughout your writing, you transform passive readers into active participants, fostering a sense of community and encouraging them to return for more. This sense of belonging can be incredibly powerful in building a loyal readership. Let's put this into practice. Think about the topics you've covered and how you can invite your readers to engage more deeply with them. What's one question you'd love to ask your readers about today's topic? This could be something that sparks a lively discussion or provides you with insights into their thoughts and experiences. Share it in the comments section below and let's get the conversation flowing. By doing so, you not only engage your readers, but also create a vibrant community where ideas and experiences are shared freely. Section 5. Conclusion. The journey continues. Mastering the art of writing, engaging content is an ongoing journey. It's about constantly experimenting, learning and refining your craft. As we've explored crafting compelling introductions, 
asking thought-provoking questions and actively engaging your readers through calls to action and surveys are essential ingredients in this recipe for success. Remember, every sentence is an opportunity to captivate your reader, to spark their curiosity, and to leave them wanting more. So, embrace the power of the written word and never stop exploring new ways to connect with your audience. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What is one key takeaway you'll be implementing in your own writing? Share your thoughts and let's continue this conversation.